seeing Sony take a very different direction here. Um, I'm told that these deals with Netflix and Disney that Sony is in could bring Sony as much as $3 billion in revenues over the next five years, though the company is not commenting on that number. But joining us now to comment on the strategy behind it is the CEO of Sony Pictures, Tony Vincequera. Tony, thanks so much for coming uh, to talk to us today on the heels of this big news. This Netflix deal, the Disney deal, what do these say about your strategic future, especially at a time when you have so many of these other companies pushing forward with their own streaming services? Yeah, Julia, you, you, you and I have talked about this, uh, I think, a number of times that we set a strategy three and a half, four years ago to be the Switzerland of uh, programmers where we will sell to everyone. Our creators are excited about that. And uh, the Seinfeld deal that we did last year the Netflix deal and the Disney deal are evidence that the strategy is absolutely working. So I want to understand a little bit more about this Netflix deal, because in addition to your theatrical distribution, which is totally separate yes. from either of these streaming deals, you do have a first look deal with Netflix to allow them to buy some of your films for streaming. How does that fit into your whole strategy of putting films into theaters and that delay before they're available uh, at home? Well, you know, this does not affect the, the number or the quality of the films that we're going to be putting into theaters. We're still going to do 15 to 20 films per year that go into theaters. And we're very, very excited about the, the, the pattern now that's taking place where people are excited to go back to theaters. The, the deal that with Netflix, we have tremendous capacity. And, you know, it was, it was not economical to put more films into theaters now we have another outlet. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an additional business line for us, and we're very excited about it. Now, as we are talking about theaters in this moment, I got to jump in before we get on to more Netflix and Disney pieces of this conversation. To your strategy about theatrical distribution, it mm -hmm. seems like pretty much every other studio has decided to shorten the window in one way or another. Uh, whether it's HBO Max releasing films in theaters and on HBO Max at the same time, or Disney offering films for $30 to its subscribers. Are you mm -hmm. planning to shorten that window in any way? Well, it, it, look, shorter windows will benefit everyone, we think, and we'll, we'll negotiate those in, with individual uh, exhibitors. But the, the deals that we've just uh, concluded uh, rep represent the traditional window uh, strategy. But look, I think, I think it's pretty clear that windows are being negotiated everywhere and evolving as we speak.